Welcome back, folks, to more Baldur's Gate. We've uh, returned to the city of Baldur's Gate, where uh, now Saravok is basically taken over, more or less. Uh, we have to watch out for the Flaming Fist. Uh, but we're going to do a few more quests here before we start on the expansion content. That is certain. We're here outside Ragefest's home. Sleep lightly, Taskmaster. Death is certain. Go suck your blade. Holy shit, all right! I now know thee well. I cannot let thee leave. We are meant to be together, whether ye know it or not. Dude's got issues. Destiny or no, I'm not long for this place. What? What bandit dares into the home of Ragefest? Identify your purpose here, that I might know what to put on thy tombstone. Strong words, mage. Have you the will to back them up? I know not what has brought thee here, but six shall carry thee out. Time to kill! I don't think so. Time to eat? Destiny or no, I'm not long for this place. I poor age first. Like many humans, he could not understand my feelings, my kind elicits. What of you, Savior? I should like to believe I am free, but your kind often does things, good things for bad reasons. What are your plans for me? You are free by my hand. I don't know if Ronstock's gonna let you go, but you can walk past me. It will be good to feel the grass beneath my feet once more. It would just release this restraining collar. I will regain a measure of my talents. I thought it only ornamental when he gave it to me. Please, will you help me? My gratitude is boundless. Please take this cloak made from my hands. Remember me by. I doubt I shall seek the company of man for some time. Ah! My turn! Made you the nymph. The nymph cloak gives plus two charisma. Same, pretty much the same one as uh, Algernon's cloak that we have here. Uh, who has it? Ronstock has it. I believe we need to give that back to someone, though. Also has charm abilities. We also need to identify and sell all this shit that we have in the house. Or that we have in our inventory here. Holy... Holy shit, all right! Rage has even where more I please. items to pick up. Go ahead and toss some scrolls I really don't need here, such as luck, minor drain, magic orb. Let's do it! Now, Nartha. Carlos Nar. As directed, for now. Why have I go? Holy shit, all right! All right I go, go where I please. Too. Northwest section. Don't touch me. I might catch something. Huh, I bet you aren't going to the inauguration ceremony. What inauguration ceremony? Your crowning Saravak is the new Grand Duke. Anyone who knows, anyone knows that. Saravak? What do you think of that twit? The city needs a strong hand to get rid of riffraff like yourselves. Personally, I think he'll do wonderfully. You have no idea what you're getting yourselves into. Saravak is no leader. He's a tyrant and must be stopped. Blah, blah, blah. You groundlings are all the same. Go fight your petty revolution elsewhere. Hey, fuck get out of me, will you crummy loghead? Make way a bear message for the dukes of the great empire of Arm. I doubt the dukes care about pompous words of your precious arm, little one. 
Ha! They'll care when we turn their ballistas and Baragost fool. We've had enough of Duke's quaint belligerence. We're prepared to colonize this port as we've colonized fair must ticker around the sea, little one. Oh, goody goodies make me sick. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. Have you heard the question of declaring a war on arms has been put before the Duke's council? I wish to hear a little of the city's politics as I can. Go bring your news to more willing audience. Rather, what do you think their decision will be? The Dukes are too set in their ways, too comfortable there. This is all just part of their cat and mouse game with arm to negotiate a better deal on the iron trade. Still, the suggestion of war has been that, until now, a suggestion, not an eventuality, brought to the table to be considered. Like, I give a shit! Death is certain! Alright, let's explore the uh, northwestern part. I'll do your toil! Death is... Oh shit. Time to eat? This better be good. It shall be even bloodier than you hoped. We got some evil shit up in here. Ah! I go where I please. Ah! If I must. Holy shit, alright! Let's try that again here. I'll do your toil. My turn. Okay. Okay. Direct. It shall be even bloodier than you hope. Ah! It shall be even bloodier than you hope. Ah! Let's do it! Ah! This will not be a quick death. Okay! Peter Rim. Lug Lug Smash! This will not be a quick death. Huh? Lug Lug Smash! Huh? Let's do it! It shall be. Whoopy all his asses with Lug Lug. Why have you. S death is certain. Lug Lug Smash! There we go. Try That's a little better. Up. My turn! Okay! No good with them attacking our mages. Because I'm not allowed to sleep. Our next assailants may just live. You need something, stranger? You have done well to bypass all my guardians. I should be angry with you, but to be truthful, I've been looking out for skilled adventurers. So I would ask you to do to help me in a task, or would you rather die? What is it you want us to do? First of all, my name is Jagrodel. I can only assume that you're Romstock, the adventurer who's been stirring up so much trouble in the recent past. Now that introductions are done, let us get down to business. My task is very simple. 
Some years ago, an evil band of mercenaries were all petrified while trying to break into the home of Ramazith. For those of you who are limited vocabulary, petrified means turned to stone. Anyhow, one of those adventurers had in his possession an item of power, the Helm of Baldurun. Ramazith didn't know this at the time, so after turning them all to stone, he simply sold their bodies to an art collector living in the heart of Baldur's Gate. What I would like you to do is find these statues, turn them back to flesh, and take the item. How do we turn them back from stone to flesh? Very simple. I will give you six scrolls, stone to flesh. Use them on the statues when you find them. The estate can be found just west of the fairgrounds in the center of town. Good luck, and don't entertain any thoughts about betraying me. It could be very hazardous to your health. Okay! Oh, I can't carry anything! I got too much shit! That'll work. Don't ever drop the golden pantaloons again. Death is certain. Death is certain. All right, let's go ahead and finish this quest first. Serve that shit somewhere else. <laughs> Try to stay away from the flaming fist now, because I'm just gonna kill those bastards. Once I get it going, we're just gonna rock that reputation down to one. Yes! Get back! More of Ramses' trickery? Oh, you're paired with that snake, Degradal. I swear none of you will see the day I get between feud and mages ever again. Well, speak up! Are you for me against me? I am neither, as I care little for you at all. I released you to find the great the helm of Balderon. I see, well, I do not have such an item, nor will I tell you if I did. Dead with the treasure would be much living better than living without. Question the others, if you will. I care only that I walk once more. Hello, pal. My word, such a backache I have. I feel as though I've been standing for ages. I thank you for releasing me, and now I await your price. I'm well acquainted with mercenaries and the like, and now that one does not rescue such as I for good of one's health. What do you want of me? My price shall be your death if I do not, do not receive the helm of Balderon. Such manners, you buster is wasted. I do not have the item you seek. Perhaps one of my petrified fellows might, but that will be their business to take up with you. Please, feel free to question them as you will. I have shared much with them, but I care not for what baubles they have stashed in their packs. Glad to meet you, friend. I awake from a dark slumber and see before me a devil. Certainly, you must be such a creature to have rescued me. My name is Vale. Please honor me with your name as well. I am Ronstock. I have come seeking the Helm of Balderon. The Helm of Balderon. I am acquainted with that trinket. May I ask you why you are looking for it, or more importantly, who told you to come get me? 
and was hired by Der Grodel to retrieve it. He said you hapless chaps could have it, and would perhaps trade it for your freedom. That is what he said? Well, he is wrong. As I am much grateful for your help, the item you seek is very important to me. I earned it through hard work and take good care of it. Am I to relinquish such a historical curiosity that means so much to me? I ask you to reconsider. We are both adventuring sorts, whether hired or driven by spirit. Leave me my prize. You know I well deserve it. I do not care. Deliver it, or you shall suffer. You're probably going to kill me anyway, so I'll fight as best as I can, as any of my fellows would. Time to kill! Such a shame. Okay. I enter battle tomorrow with a heavy heart, knowing I may well not survive. Such is a life, and many a fool has risked as much for less gold than I will be paid. Still, I cannot bear the possibility of losing the treasures I have worked so hard for. To prevent this, I write this note to myself as a reminder. If I suffer an injury that would impair my, fa my faculties, any battle against a mage always carries such risk. Quinash, my beautiful fallen saint, holds my cloak as a reminder of me. My helm I will trust only to my guile and hide in it. It rests where people rest, in a building that may well have been named for that purpose. The cloak should be with it, but that would only be expected. I shall not make their theft easy. Merit. So once you read that, you can pretty much deduce that it is in the Helm and Cloak Inn. That's where we'll be heading here momentarily. Mm. This is bad when you have so much shit you can't pick up What anymore. now? Holy shit, alright! sell my shit, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to... I must talk to you in private. Ah, Tamoko. These are troubled times. I apologize for not being more open. But these are troubled times. If I could be permitted to speak for a moment, I believe I have something you'd want to hear. Perhaps we could help each other. If your information is of worth, then yes, I'll be interested. I shall explain myself in further detail when I have time. Until then, I have but one thing to say. The one who claims to heal Duke Elden's sickness is also the one who breeds it. Likely, there have been signs that suggest this to you, but none have said it so plain. No doubt you have here with well to follow on through it. Your very nature gives you above average competence. Gorion's tutelage could only have enhanced this. Your simple shadowing has given you that name, and I'm not impressed. I have cut those family ties. But has your family shed its ties to you? I think not. I think you feel the pool, and I think you have gone where it's led. Ah, uh, can you see that I know much of you, perhaps more than you know of yourself? There are three things, strength incarnate. There is love of life, there is fear of death, and there is family. A family that loves death would have a strong pull indeed. Can you feel it? Can you feel him? He hates you, you know. Who hates me? What have I done to deserve such hatred? Besides blow up a world, jeez. What have you done? You exist and your chaos will be sown. That is the way it was intended. Though I hope to change it. I must go and you must go to Duke Elton. Protect him from his own healer. I will wait near the Flaming Fist headquarters. We shall speak again and I shall have something to ask of you. 
What now? Death is certain. Alright, gonna sell some stuff and empty some inventory and I'll be right back. Alright, pretty much all done selling here. Got some room. Death. That uh, girl that was shit, talking right. to us earlier, Tomoko, she is one of Saravok's lovers. One of many, I'm sure. She'll come into play a little bit later. And she happens to be wearing the best armor in the game, which, unfortunately for her, we're gonna take. Uh, yep, first we got to go to... Death is certain! The, uh, Helm and Cloak Inn. I think that's in the northwest up here. I go where I please. Holy shit, all right! My turn! Hmm. Why am I go where I please? I believe this is behind a painting somewhere. Death is certain. Let's try up here. That looks like it's the same. I go where I please. Certain. What need to suck your blade? Probably trapped. And there it is, the helm of Baldron. Lug lug will take okay. it. Walking around full inventory. It's no good. Death is certain. Turpin and Tyne. Neelik. Gorpel Hind and Farlock. Farfuck, who's that? I go where I please. Okay, stranger. Oi, fellow adventurers, come share a glass with the Gorpal Hind and the band of merry fools. Seated with me are Farlock the Fearless, Turpin the Roaring Ranger, and Neelik the most devious and fiendish of thieves. We owe him money, so he gets the good title. But away from the meager introductions, sidle up to the bar and tell us a tale of your latest adventures. Well, we've been through the Cloakwood and fought our way through every level of a guarded and secret iron mine at its heart. There were mages at every turn casting lightning bolts and fireballs up our ass and into the heart of our party before stepping through dimension doors to renew their attacks from another flake. Aye, there was loss and carnage, but I revel in the memory of it still. Iron mines in the Cloakwood, your tales are tall indeed, and we are richer for the telling. Consider yourselves honorary members of the Merry Fools, and may ale and friendship always flow within these hallowed halls. A toast, you drunkards, to Ronstalk, and the onesome souls that surround us now. Cool! Time to eat! I'll crush your face, I will. Clear the way for Gurtek and the Maulers of Undermountain. If truly you be Maulers of Undermountain, you clear your own way. I don't sweep the streets before common braggarts. No one stands between the Maulers and the rail. Ready your weapons, men. We have some garbage to pick up. Uh-oh, bar fight! Oh, 
Dork him, help me, you puss! It's about to get crazy up in here! Young Luck Smash! Huh? Let's do it! That man just scared! Ran away like a little pansy. <laughs> Let's do oh my it! My God, they're going crazy out here. Lug lug smash! I like that he's killing noble women and noblemen. Okay. Also, may darkness prevail. That was fun! And a fucking dog got killed! Time to eat? Now, Natha. Man, you are weak. Now, Natha. Okay. I go where I please. I go where I please. All right, now let's re let's return the helm of Balderon to uh, Delgado. After all, it is his; it's not ours, and we have to be honorary adventurers. Why are you all walking so choppy? Like robots, Holy hurry the fuck up. I go where I please. I will listen for now. Hmm. Death is certain. Sleep like Again, me. what is it now? No, no. What? As directed for now. Zong Zong. Let's do it! Thank you for returning the helm of Badrod. It was too good to business together. Here's your payment, and I shall take the helm. Now, I must be off. I leave you with some of my servants to escort you out. My servants are known for their gentle nature, so I will leave as soon as possible. Oh, you cheap bastard. As directed, for now. This will not be a... That ain't happening, bitch. You set me up! You set me up and now you're gonna die. What not death is certain? Oh look, it's Ramazith. He's still attacking a fucking noble woman. And a bartender and... Nice bug in the game, guys. If I must. I'll do your toil. Holy shit, all right! I go where I please. Also, may darkness prevail. Time to eat? 
Huh? Time to eat? Nah. I go where I please. We shall hold here. You look tired. As directed. For the rest. Holy shit, all right. No, no. Uh, I cannot fall. If an I'm not a Why are you summoning me? Our next life and clear. I go where I please. Smash! We need to rest from the back, I so please. I'm gonna go back to the inn here and rest. Might reboot my game here. It's acting pretty chunky and clunky. Death is certain. <clears throat> Holy shit! The bartender get fucking whacked or what? That's not good. Oh well. Holy shit, alright! Certain. Let's continue exploring. Well, it looks like we're going to get arrested. Or not. Or we just uh, broke the game because it thinks we're getting arrested and we went inside the building. Shit. Alright, I had to reload there because uh, I bugged I the game out. I Imagine that. Hey, sexy. Do you want to take a look at me, Diddy? What? Of course I do. Hey, Ronstock, lonely night, ain't it? Aye, lonely enough. 
And only now I bet without Scar to lead you about the place. He's dead, he is, and there uh, was mutter. Ivan is in the blushing mermaid. Saw it all he did. What death is certain? Death is certain. Death is certain. I want my mommy. Hi, I'm Louise, and that's my twin sister, Loretta. We're nine. Hi, I'm Loretta, that's my twin sister, Louise. Mom and Dad don't believe us, but there's a boogeyman that comes and looks in our window every night. We're glad we're twins, because if there was only one of us, there'd be no one to hold on to when we get scared. Leave us alone, will ya? Nothing for you here. Time to eat? Leave us alone, will ya? Nothing for my you here. My name is Javice, and I can tell you I'm a mage. The two young girls within the fateful room face a dark and uncertain future. They have already come under the eye of a powerful Jew who goes by the name of Voltine. She has polymorphed herself into what I know not, in an effort to infiltrate the house and abduct the twins in the night. Please believe me, Voltine must be found or the twins are in grave danger. I will crush this Voltine! Hard put enough for you to spy on a lady as she's changing. My name is Voltina Blue Eye, but you may call me Voltine if you wish. There's a dirty old mage in these parts, his name is Gervais, and he looks around at night, peering in through people's windows. As it is a hobby you seem to share, may I presume that you are close acquaintances? Bitch, I will punch you in the face! What the hell are you random people doing in this house? Uh, I think the man's a dirty liar. Lug Lug Smash! Oh, you can pause. There he is. That ain't gonna help you, son. Time to eat! Lug Lug be killing bitches left and right. Yeah? So you've proved yourself to be of some use after all. As I told you, Device was a dirty old man, and this city is safer without him. If you allow me to give this wand as I thank you for our services rendered. Right, we got the wand of polymorph. P -p -p polymorph. Why have I go where I please? You believe us about the boogeyman? You scared away the boogeyman, didn't you? Here, Mom says give you this scroll. I think it's supposed to protect you from the other boogie people you find. And we get a thousand experience and also a scroll of protection from evil. As if we need that shit. Holy Thanks, shit, kiddos. all right! Holy shit, all right! Entar Silver Shield's estate. You need something, stranger. It's this northwest section that's all fucked up or what, because I haven't had any problems till I came here. Time to eat! Anyways, we're gonna use Lug Lug with his boots of speed to stay away, play, stay away from the flaming fucks. And uncover the rest of the area here. I serve the flaming fist! You can't catch Lug Lug! I'd like to quick for you, dipshits. Death is certain. If you come right back, they kind of get off your tail.
Death is certain. I go where I please. Glad to make your acquaintance there, by golly. What might you be needing from old Conley Finn? A tale of treachery amidst the nobles or a bit of back alley skullduggery? I hear many things about tipping a bit of ill. What have you heard bandied about the bar lately? Oh, we've had many a tale of on the underseller and those trying to get there unseen. Oft was the time I bumped against a patron as so it to accidentally drop the hood from their face. More disreputable folk than I quite ain't quite a tidy living soliciting donations from that the which to remain anonymous. I would advise against the practice, however, if you can afford to pay. They can also afford to have someone else remove you. For you, I need to rest. You want some whiskey? You close your eyes tonight, and visions of candle keep swim into view. As you pass through the gates of the citadel, there is a flash of memory, and you are a child of only a few seasons once more. At your side is Gorion, gray-haired even all those years ago. How old must he have been to age so little in the time since? Aged as he ever was, you still have to run to keep up with him. He has an important meeting with Ulrant, the Keeper of the Tomes. An important meeting about you. Funny, you don't remember it. As you stand outside the doors of the inner keep, you can hear the shouting from within. Gorion seldom raised his voice, though you did not care to listen to the discussions at your previous stops either. As you trace patterns in the water of a fountain, a reflection distracts you from the argument. A large raven has perched atop a stone wall and stares directly at you with huge black eyes. You stare back through the mirror of the water and are suddenly afraid to meet the bird's gaze any other way. It has claws for feet. You think to yourself, little skeletal claws. The doors of the keep suddenly swing open and Ulrant storms out. He glances at you for a moment, but looks away as he speaks. You both can stay, he sneers, but mark my words, that child will be the death of you. A flash of memory once more, and Gorion walks out of the keep as he is today, dead. You drop your gaze back to the water so as not to see. The raven is gone, but your own image remains. Your eyes are black, like those of a bird. Like father, like child, the reflection says. You wake with a yell, predictably unrested. Uh, it looks like they patched the uh, dialogue not ending before the red dialogue. And we get the other special holy ability, Draw Upon Holy Might. Slow Poison Cure. Let's go ahead and get this identified. The fabled helm of Balduron, legendary founder of Baldur's Gate, has been rumored to wield powerful protective magic. The exact nature of this magic however, is yet to be determined. This gives you five hit points, an armor class, a thaco, and one against saving throws. It's an awesome helmet, people! Wear it with pride! Boom! Negative seven armor class on fucking Lug Lug. I'm a demon lord now! Thank you, Game Hoarder! Thank you! And I like this helmet better for Dorn. Spikes and shit. We'll drop that. On to polymorph. All right. Well. Shit. Fuck 
to battle, battle axe called Molotov. During the Tetherian Civil War, the battle axe of Molotov was in possession of the House of Osinian. The noble family was betrayed while trying to flee the country, and Molotov led the guard and personal friend took up the axe and sacrificed himself to buy enough time for his companions to flee. His battle cry was favored by the gods, and was echoed across the lands as a symbol of devoted friendship and loyalty. Thus, the magical axe was used to uphold these virtues against those who lacked honor and courage. Let's do battle axe, not too shabby. Sell it. That's probably a shitty plus one long sword that we're gonna sell. And some shitty bracers of armor class seven that we're gonna sell. And another shitty robe we don't need. Why you can't identify this, I don't know. Death is certain. Alright folks, anyways, that wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned, we're going to head on over to the uh, northern section of Baldur's Gate and do some questing there while trying to avoid the flaming fist. Thanks for watching.